What's up Fortnite fam? I'm Matt. Update 15.40 is here and I'm gonna break it all down in under 5 minutes. First up, let's go over the patch notes Epic has supplied us on Twitter. It's time to blast back with the flint knock, now it has been unvaulted. A lot of people were hoping that this new unvault would be the pump, but honestly there are so many shotties in the game right now that the pump would probably be overkill. And hey, the flint knock is a pretty cool weapon. Being able to jump off builds or fly through the air without a bouncer could be a pretty interesting addition to this low movement meta. There has also been a pretty drastic change to exotics this patch. It used to be that there was only one copy of each exotic on the map. If someone picked it up from an NPC, that was it, no more exotic from that NPC. Well, this patch, Epic has updated the exotic system so that the NPCs will be carrying more than one exotic in stock. This means that your allies or your enemies can pick one up, even if you have. We are going to be getting two returning LTMs in the rotation this patch, and those are Air Royale and The Floor is Lava. These are the LTMs that Epic have announced, but data miners have uncovered a brand new one. It is called the Comeback LTM, and it can be played in solos, duos, trios, and squads. In this LTM, each player will have five lives, and after each respawn, their loot will increase in rarity. Players can siphon health or get healing from supply drops. Finally, from the patch notes, the performance mode has been changed yet again. Object and build level of detail has been downgraded in the performance mode alpha, meaning you'll be able to change the geometry settings on the meshes to low, which will make some models look worse for more of a performance boost. There also seems to have been a change to the building animations while using certain settings. That is to say, they're pretty much completely gone. But hey, if these new performance boosts aren't enough to get you on top of the game, make sure to head to ProGuides.com, where we've got a 20% off offer so you can get 24-7 coaching cheaper than ever. Moving on, as usual with this patch, there have been a bunch of skins and cosmetic leaks. As for the skins, we've got Seeker, the Brightstorm Bomber, and Xander. There are also three new encrypted sets. Two of them will be new hunters, while the other is going to be next month's crew skin. For the harvesting tools, we've got the Arena's Blessing and the Breezy Bashers. As for the backblings, there's the Arena Elite and Gordo. There's only one glider, and it's the Cerberus. Finally, for the wraps, there's Hearty Hearts, Cracked Up, and Heartbeat. As well as the cosmetic leaks, a new big screen party royale event has been uncovered. On February 20th and 21st, the short night event will be happening on the party royale island. Could we finally be getting some more animated Fortnite shorts? I hope so. Those things are cool. A new flopper has also been uncovered in the files, and it's the gas flopper. It's currently unfinished and might even end up being cut, but one of the things we know it does is leaves a trail behind you when you use it. Do we need a flopper that gives you diarrhea? No. Does it sound like we're gonna get one? Yeah. I mean, just listen to these uncovered sound effects. On the subject of unfinished things, it seems like the storyline might be about to kick back into gear. Data miners have found files relating to a currently unfinished Midas NPC that will soon be added to the Fortnite map at some point during the rest of the season. We've not seen anything from Midas since Fort Nightmares, and then he was just waging war against the land of the living as a spooky spectre. Who knows what version of Midas will be coming to the game, and what impacts he'll have on the storyline. If you are someone who has a Linux PC and can't currently play Fortnite, that might be about to change. According to data miners, there seems to be files for a Linux config of Fortnite being worked on. However, there also seems to be a Mac folder as well, and considering Fortnite's relationship with Apple, that seems pretty unlikely to actually happen. So that was this week's update. No new locations this time, but considering we got the cantina in the last update, that was kind of expected. It's nice to have a new weapon in the loot pool, and it'll be interesting to see how the addition of the flint knock pistol impacts our current low movement option meta. I hope you enjoyed the update breakdown, Fortnite fam. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and make sure you're here for the next one. I'll see you then. Oh, <laughs>